So my art name is Trap Bob. Um, I'm like the biggest Gucci fan, like he's my idol. Bob was my nickname already in high school and I think Trap Bob came out around when I was really getting into my art and I was like, oh, Trap Bob, like that's easy. So I just stuck with that since then. He's just so prolific, like he's so real, he's so honest, he's always been real, he's always been consistent. And I think consistency is most important thing, like no matter what you're doing, who you are, that's your brand, that's your image, that's what people are gonna think about when they see you. And if you're inconsistent, like, I can't trust you. So I have to stay consistent. So, you know, just listening to his music, I really listen to him every single day. Like I listen to old shit, I listen to new shit. And it just inspires me, it gives me energy, you know, like obviously I'm not like really in the trap, but I'm still trapping, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm still hustling, I'm still working hard every day. So, I mean, he just speaks to me. I'm originally from Ethiopia. Um, I was born in LA actually, and then I moved to Columbia, Maryland, and I've been living there since then. Uh, I actually really prefer LA area, West Coast. I like being in the sun and you know next to the water. I'm like, whatever seasonally like, you know I can't deal with the cold at all. So I'll probably end up there as soon as possible. <laughs> I'm really influenced by um, Ethiopian Christian art. I really like the style and the bold colors and the way it portrays the message. So that's definitely influenced me. And then also, you know, being in the DMV, there's so many creative people, so many different people. Um, I get inspired just by walking around. I'll just like take a hundred pictures of things I see all day and then go through them later and, you know, see whatever I can come up with. My favorite is oil painting. Um, I don't get to do it as often as I like just because it's such a, you know, long process, but I'm like, I don't know, I feel like I'm really old school. Like, I like seeing the paint. I like working with it and it doesn't dry as fast. Um, acrylic is cool, it lets me get stuff done quicker. And then there's, you know, obviously like digital graphic design. And that's obviously more marketable at this time and definitely a lot faster to get through. So I do a lot more illustrations than I do paintings, unfortunately. But if I could really choose and have the time, I would just be doing oil paintings, like huge ones, murals, like whatever I can get my hands on. I try not to necessarily think of myself as, you know, just a woman artist. I'm a woman and an artist. I actually have, you know, people that think I'm a guy when they see my art and they'll hit me up like, you know, yeah, bro, that was so really tight. Like, I want you to do this for me. And I mean, it's whatever, you know, art, I don't want to tie gender to. I think everybody should be able to relate to it. And that's why I got into my hand illustrations because, you know, obviously we all have hands. So that's something we can relate to. Um, and I don't think it has to separate us. The hands could be any color, you know, nails, no nails, jewelry, no jewelry. Like, I just wanna bring people together. I don't wanna have to have it be split up. And as far as women, I don't know, especially in the street scene and, you know, the underground scene and art, it's really dominated by males, obviously. I don't let, I don't really think of it too much, you know, I don't let it discourage me, but I do know it's, you know, a little more difficult to get into the things that I actually wanna do, you know, as opposed to things that are kind of, people might think I just fit into, you know, that would work for me. And usually it's, you know, things that are for women, uh, maybe like, you know, girly kind of style things. And I don't mind at all because I don't have a preference, but I just don't think that there needs to be a difference. I don't think you need to look at anyone's art, you know, music, art, fashion, and gender. It should just be what it is and what you see. Uh, my last school was University of Maryland College Park, where we are. Um, and I've been there all four years, uh, studied marketing business. Well, at first I was just business because I just really couldn't, you know, pick anything. And then marketing just seemed to make sense. So I went into that, um, you know, there was art side to it. I did get a little practice in graphic design and things like that. But my problem with school just was that I just felt like I was being forced to do a lot of things I didn't want to do. I was almost like an autopilot like the whole time. And I didn't realize that I wasn't interested in what I was doing. I didn't even think I needed to be interested. I was just used to having to do well in school. So once, I don't know, I feel like maybe my junior year, I kind of opened my eyes and realized I was, I felt stuck and I just wanted to really find out like, is there something that I do like? Cause I never felt like connected to anything. So I, I've always like drawn since I was a kid. My dad is an artist. So I was raised, you know, creatively. I never thought of it in a, you know, serious way. Like, oh, I could be an artist one day, but that's just how I was used to doing things. 
So I was like, okay, I'll just start drawing again. Maybe it'll help me, you know, come up with something. And I like fell in love. Like I never felt like that in my life. It was really like true, true love. And I was like, I can't ever do anything else. Like this is it, this is all I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. And since then I've just been like on a serious mission to like get out of all of my, you know, obligated obligations and things that I'm not interested in because I wanna live a life of, you know, passion and really making a difference with things that I care about. I think it's very important for kids to have education. I mean, there's no question about that. Sometimes I think it's just, you know, the mentalities that they teach you beyond the education that they need to give you that can mess with you, you know, thinking you have to be, you know, doctor, lawyer, engineer, these, you know, simple answers to everything, um, to the point that you kind of grow up answering questions that people already answered for you. And that's when I started to really realize that I didn't like what I was doing because I'd talk to people about what I was doing and then I'd walk away and feel weird. Like, feel like I just lied to somebody. And I'm like, I, I can't live a lie. So I think, I don't know, I think there needs to be a better way to still educate the youth, but also let them educate themselves and give them exposure to different things that they might be interested in and let them, you know, build on that rather than just kind of saying, you gotta do this, you gotta do this until the end. And then you get to my age and maybe you never found what you wanted to do and then you're miserable at work, you know, you know this story like nine to five, hate my job, you know, go drink afterwards and you never really find anything else to put your heart into and care about. I think that's, you know, most important. This is Trap Bob. Thanks for watching Underground Media.